Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues! Playing as Kaiser's Legion. How are you supposed to say that? Okay, I need to make a couple of quick corrections from the last video in some areas I think I made mistakes. For example, I don't see much point in building any civilian workshops right now. Because of the rejection of automation, which is reducing our build speed by 75%, which means we won't even have a single factory until 2301. And I'm not waiting 26 years to get a factory. So we're going to go ahead and cancel all of those. What can I build in a reasonable time frame, though? Maybe some infrastructure is a, is a okay idea? Do we have rejection of automation from that, too? Um, no, that appears to actually get done in a reasonable amount of time. So infrastructure could make sense. Uh, bunkers and other forts? I think we can build those. Yeah, that's completely fine. Okay, so maybe focusing on that stuff would be smart. Arms workshops, it looks like, are in the same boat as the rejection of automation, though, so we really can't build any of those either. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, some basic infrastructure could probably make a bit of sense. Go ahead and improve some of my supply lines and so on. Maybe get a little bit of extra resources as a result. Um, but I'm thinking some of that would be good. I'm not really worried about getting bunkers yet, because I kind of expect that I'm going to be expanding around here, and I won't need them. Um, not until I'm ready to fight with California, I would think. So we'll just go ahead and get some basic levels of infrastructure around, just so I can have a bit more supplies. Make that a little bit easier. Uh, if we are going to go want to get some extra production, though, what we're really going to need is to go down Daenerys. Which does give some political power, but eventually leads to the taming of various different areas that we can own. And get me some extra civilian workshops. So if you want to focus on getting a really good economy, this is probably one of the first things we want to do. We could go for Lessons of the Old World, though, which gives me 50 army experience, which would allow me to ex uh, change my templates quite a bit. Which I'm kind of a big fan of that idea early on, so we can start having some early aggression, and that's another way of expanding and getting some of our workshops. I like to conserve my manpower and try to make my templates a little bit more pr uh, powerful, which might require getting some... Um, well, we may, we may find ourselves bottlenecked by production, but let's just kind of see how that works out. Maybe good, maybe bad. Uh, the other option with our national focuses at this stage of the game will be to go for Alia Lacte Est, or have you say that. Lots of political power, pretty good, but it also leads to some direct annex war goals for some of my neighbors, which obviously is a pretty good idea. Also, uh, neighbor of Mojave Chapter, Brotherhood of Steel, New Judea, the war for the Hoover Dam as a focus. That could be kind of cool. Conqueror of the 86. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a vault or something. I I'm not sure, but yeah, either way, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go into speed four. We are actually taking a fair bit of damage. Maybe buffing these guys up was not the smartest of plans. I don't know. But let's go ahead and try pushing against them now. I'm going to have you guys regenerate your organization and then try pushing. If I can get a some sort of a flank going this way, that would be awesome. Um, they have actually managed to push me back a little bit. Which I don't much care for. Maybe we don't want to worry about having protections. Maybe we do want to go ahead and just get a few more troops on the front line, you know? Oh, wait, we have more ships. Patrol here, I guess. <laughs> Freaking heck if I know what I'm doing here. Um, Alright, how about, how about you guys go over here as well? And we will assist with overwhelming numbers if we can. Uh, you guys, I'm going to have manually push here. Try to take that and surround their bunker. I don't want to go into needles unnecessarily. You guys can reinforce here and try to assist. Need a couple of good breakthroughs here. That's what I need. Alternatively, if I backed up and let him spread too thin, maybe we could push through to dry wells and stuff and take that over myself. I'm not too sure. Golden Valley. Prescott. No, that is... Uh, Sonoran, uh-huh. Poston. There's a lot of places I don't recognize here. Blue Father, Mount Graham, Tonto, Black Canyon. And we're kind of getting to areas that are outside of my range a little bit. I think it's funny that this is called Tucson. I try to remember where Tucson is, and if that's actually the kind of the joke. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is so far I'm very intrigued by this mod. The lack of leaders is going to end up being a little bit of a pain. But what can you do? Stability is hurting my ability to generate political power at the moment. Uh, but otherwise, we don't really have anything uh, that is kind of penalizing me there. Rejection of automation is really going to hurt. 
And I don't think we ever can get rid of this. Kaiser has envisaged a society that works together in unison. The reintroduction of machines and other pre-war tools would damage the drive Kaiser has set forth in his subjects. So, I don't think we ever will get rid of this, and this is always going to hurt my ability to produce. Which is why I think the national focuses that give me more factories are going to be so darn crucial if we want to have a chance. You guys need to stop pushing because you're going to freaking die. Hang on, you stop. Stop this thing that you do. Let's get some more reinforcements in position. Continuing to try to push over here, but I'm not sure it's going well. I can at least break through here, that'd be excellent. I think we should be able to push through this. That would be good. Anyone else fighting? Looking to see if there's anything else. I know the NCR is going to end up being kind of aggressive and fight people pretty early on. Probably the Valley Bandits and stuff. Scorpions, I would guess. You know, a few things like that. Uh, in the south, at least, I think we're going to make some progress, though. Okay, so now we have a lot of troops pushing here. I'm going to have you sit tight. Okay, they're actually trying to push against me, but we can probably pin them down a little bit. Maybe. If I can get a surround on needles, that would be an excellent start. More reinforcements still on the way. Okay, I'm um, going to go to speed 5 for a little bit then. Looks like we're still losing some ground here. My legions definitely are not very strong. Desert Rangers declared war on the Vipers. That's completely fine with me. Um, we're going to lose ground here again. But if I can push in here... Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Degenerates like you belong on what? Oh, Hang on, let's try to get a small surround in here. And then you can assist by pinning. So let's try to get that. Alright, looks like we are not going to get the surround I was looking for. My organization is now quite low. Uh, that's not ideal, of course. Um, I could probably use you guys to push in aggressively here. Try to protect the Golden Valley. They are not defending up here anymore, so let's go ahead and start pushing this away. Troll Warrens declared war on Rib Breakers. So those will be some of the irradiated raiders, which uh, I'm hoping I don't have to deal with anytime soon. Let's see. Okay, we actually are making some pretty good pushes here. Can we get to Dry Wells and take their capital? Pers possibly. Let's see if we can get some sort of a surround going in here. I would like to take Peach Springs. Uh, I'm going to have you push back against them like so. You go grab Willow Beach and head to Dry Wells. We might be setting ourselves up for a... Oh, never mind. Okay, we might be setting ourselves up for failure here. And we got surrounded. Okay. That's fine. He doesn't have a lot of troops either. Let's see if we can break up some space. Like this. Um, you guys need to start moving somewhere more useful. You guys as well. So tell you what, you go here. You guys go here. Okay. Gonna stop that from being a bad surround. I would like you to start working this way instead. Let's see if we can get a surround in on them somewhere. Crap. Hang on. You go here. We're just kind of opening up our front lines for failure a lot, and it's kind of weird. Okay, we have a slight surround. If we can hold on to this, that'd be excellent. Not sure that we can. Maybe you can pin this guy real quick. There we go. Ohm's Law is done. Fantastic. So what are we going to get? Do you want to go for Resistor? That's a little bit ahead of time, so probably not. Reinforce rate might be good. I kind of regret going for the water. We actually have enough resources. I don't think that was a smart choice. Um, it might be good to go for the production efficiency growth. How are we looking on efficiency? We could actually really benefit from that. Factory output, just making more out of factories could be really good too. Oh, but that reduces efficiency growth. That's interesting. Huh. Um, efficiency base, recruitable population. I kind of like organization. Mm. And that's not ahead of time either. Maybe we want to go for something with infantry though. Defense and breakthrough. Better melee weapons, too far ahead of time. Defense, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start improving some troops. Let's go for a national focus. So we have the lessons of the old world, and then we have to choose which of the generals we want to go for, and that's going to change quite a few paths. Losing base stability and war support, but gaining a national spirit so we can train troops fast. Eventually leading to better organization, less attrition, supplies, and Gaius Magnus. Alternatively, the Praetorian Guard, better planning. Uh, slots for new leaders. Initiative. 
Production efficiency growth and Silas. That seems pretty solid. Recruitable population, but more consumer goods. Child soldiers. Slave callers for manpower. Division organization. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going to be best there. But I'm not going to worry about this right now. I'm going to go for Denarius. And we're going to try to start getting some extra economy going. I'm going to go ahead and start clearing this area out and try to close up our um, front line here a little bit. See if we can finish these guys off now that they are being held off from getting any um, extra supplies. Let's kind of pin this guy down a little bit. Actually, let's not pin him down. Let's go ahead and help with just clearing this out. Much as we can. So yeah, you're going to go here, 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 and here. We're going to clear this out. Uh, or actually, maybe you're just going to go for the Benelli Landing. Maybe that's better. Let's try doing that instead. How are we looking down here to the south? Not really making any progress, but that's fine. The north is where it's at right now. We're going to get a few extra kills off. So that seems fine. We also managed to steal a bunker. That helps. Uh, you go ahead and clear this up. You are going to be attached here. Four divisions. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Start pushing down this away. You start going this way. We're going to surround him on dry wells. You try to take dry wells. See if he can snag his capital and win this war. Um, let's go around and grab it. Get a surround in on him. You go clear this area up a little bit. Okay. Looking solid? Looking solid. We have some free military factories. What are we lacking currently? A bit of support equipment? Alright, it's no surprise. Let's go ahead and do that. Make more of those. Dynamite we are producing, but not really using. Convoys, I'm seriously not super sure what that's good for. I feel like there were supposed to be some decisions where you can, um... If you have enough resources and stuff, you can actually send convoys to conduct, like, trade and scavenging and such. I'm not sure. We do have a lot of options here now that we have some political power. Let's take a quick look at some of this. So for war propaganda, weekly war support, which is always quite nice. Militarized society, uh, lose stability, but it's cheap. Um, mobilize the people. Seize on patriotism. So gain war support and also for 100 days lose a little bit. But it's weekly. Hang on, let me think about that for a second. So for 100 days... So 100 divided by 7 means it's going to be about 14.28 weeks. Um, multiply that by 1.5, which means over the course of... Which means over the course of this, you'd lose about 21% war support. So it ends up being about a, about a wash. It's spending political power to gain a quick little burst of war support. That's interesting. Military research. Research time. Intellectual support. Weekly stability goes down. Production. Consumer technology. Research time goes down, but we gain weekly stability for 100 days. Uh, focus on the internal sphere. More stability. Lose war support. Expel the riffraff. Lose a lot of stability, but it gains over time. 1%. Actually, I think ends up being a good thing. Because if it was 14 weeks, multiply that by 1. That's 14%. So by the end of it, we should end up with more stability. But we also lose some political power for a little bit. So this actually could be pretty good at some point. Scavenging missions, we need pipe guns in the stockpile. We would lose some manpower. Um, but we do get some scavenging efficiency and there's a chance of getting some stuff. Namely, once uh, we're done, we gain manpower and some more machete and pipe guns. So just more, more resources. This could be good. So that's one of the reasons I started producing some pipe guns, thinking that we would eventually want some of this. Time will tell if I am indeed correct. Time will tell. Uh, can you guys just finish this guy off? Let's finish this guy off. Get that clear. Um, you're doing great. You, let's finish these guys off. Okay. Solid. Go clear that. You guys go get a surround this away. You guys push this way as well to try and get more of a surround. I want to make sure that he doesn't retake any land that I want. One of you pin him down while we make this land. Uh, you're going to go down this way. Okay, you push through here. You pin him down while I get the surround in. You go this way. Should be able to clear him out, and that's that. Okay, good. Uh, let's continue working this way to get Hopi, which I'm guessing is one of the Native American um, names for a settlement there. Siege Division can go over that way. Okay, good solid surround in there. Um, 
trying to think where else we can make a push. I don't like him going here. So let's pin that down. Let's see if we can make our way to Kingman, and I, then I think we might be able to just win. World Tension. I want to see our current wars. The Legionnaire Wars. He is 67% of the way towards capitulation. And that is worth 5 victory points, and I don't think he has really much else, if anything. So we need to... Honestly, have everyone reassigned. Let's have all you guys go down here. Continue clearing this out, finish them out, but... Then we'll have 21 divisions ready to fight. Which I think will work. We're going to get pushed out of Hopi. You go this way. Let's start applying a little bit of extra pressure. Kind of uh, cut down on his ability to get supplies. Oop! We got caught off. Let's not do that. Don't want to lose any troops. Manpower is precious. Remember that. Alright, you stop what you're doing. Actually, no. Keep up what you're doing until we can get some reinforcements down here in the Golden Valley. Pin him down. Okay. I need you to start pushing. You guys start pushing. I'm going to tell you guys to go ahead and start being aggressive and push. Should be able to finish this off here, which will free up a few more troops. Excellent. Okay, we got surrounded again, but uh, if we we're quick, we might be able to retake some of this. You go here. Okay, he lost needles. He gave that up. Perfect. Grab. Okay, that's what I'd like to see. And then... Can you push in here and surround him? Maybe. Sort of? There we go. Slight surround in there. Surround in there. Flank him, he says. I agree wholeheartedly. Let's push this away. Get him surrounded and stop him from getting any reinforcements. Narius is done. Settlers in the capital or in Phoenix. Don't think it really matters that much. We'll go for the capital, I guess, since Flagstaff apparently is our capital. Flagstaff is a really nice area, you know, no denying that. Hey, we have more troops. Awesome. We will send them down... Well, where am I going to attack next, really? Uh, not Twin Mothers. We could go to Hand Dogs, who have a couple of crossings, namely at Pueblo City. A few places along here. Might be a little bit tricky to kill them. At least until we can get some sort of military access, so I'm not sure I want that. Hang on, let's take a quick look and see what my options are again. Hang dogs, twin mothers, two son, two son, and the country cowboys, county cowboys. So down here, two here. Uh, if we do two son, that would be very easy to take. Uh, Puerto uh, Penasco. Alternatively, if we're able to kill them quickly enough, we can get an easy flank on two son, two son. So that's easy. Where's twin mothers? I feel like I saw this not long ago. There it is, right here. Okay, I want to kill Navajo. I think it doesn't look like he has much. He does have some. You have actually some cars? Well, you know. I think we may want him taking on Tucson and then flanking uh, the cowboy countries and just taking that over that way. Alright. Let's go ahead and send some extra troops down toward Tucson. And that will end up being my next big conquest, I think, after we get some extra workshops. Uh, let them actually just hold. Let them kind of starve out. Uh, actually, take that back. He's trying to move, which I don't appreciate. You guys all get assigned up to here, please. I'm going to take one of you and just kind of get an extra surround in on Hopi. Well, he's actually going to get some of his supply back, so go grab Kingman since he's distracted. Ba-boom, and that's that. All right, wonderful. I want to take all states and turn done. I get some free land. All right, wonderful. Uh, let's see. You guys now will be able to change your tactics to go for something else. I want to set up a pretty big defense here, I think. I have four troops defending at the Hoover Dam for now. There's another crossing over here. So actually, hang on. Let's have everybody. I'm going to go ahead and delete your orders, because we're going to move our main army down toward Tucson. Okay. So let's have something here. Whoops. All of you start by getting assigned up here at the Hoover Dam. I don't want to delete the orders. One, two, three, 
We'll go here. And then I will set up an extra defense over by... I don't really know where I need to defend. That's part of my other problem. I guess we'll go by Tumble Home or something? Away. So one defend there. True one defend Kaiser. here. And one defend here? I guess? I don't know. Basic defenses. You guys need an offensive line over here. And your offensive line goes a this away. Alright. More land for the Kaiser. What else do we have in terms of decisions? So we could do Expelling the Riff Raff. A lot of our other options went away because we're no longer at war. We could do some changes in the government, though. Uh, I do love getting extra army experience gain. Also, land doctrine research time could be nice. Um, Poseidon Energy. Uh-huh. Material Designer. Don't care about any of this right now. Tanks, no. Political Advisor. Um, we do not have Goddess Diana, so we can't do this yet. Can't do resource gain, can't do infrastructure, can't do this. We can do encryption and decryption and daily people support, but we don't want to become um, dem democratic. Total War Tactician, economy cost. What is economy cost? This also gets me army experience and uh, intellectual support. Which again, I'm not sure I want. So volunteer only, can't do anything there. Free trade, don't need to do that yet. Civilian economy, can't do anything there. Maybe I could have done that before I ended the war. Maybe I should have. Chief of Navy, I don't care about. Military High Command, can't do some of these yet. Again, with the intellectual and people support. Which I'll have to be careful about, but there's apparently a few good options there. Um, I think I'm going to go for the military theorist for the extra army experience gain. And then we probably want to go ahead and start changing up some of our divisions. Namely, I would like to add in some explosive support. And probably increase our infantry combat width. Can I do anything with mobile motorized? This requires... What kind of equipment? So, let's focus on just doing some basic infantry right now. Unless we want militia. This just requires infantry equipment. Hang on, I need to do some quick comparisons here. So, infantry equipment plus... So, this just requires more equipment. Has more breakthrough. Worse suppression. Better organization. Yeah, I think, uh, I think infantry is just straight up better. We're going to create some very basic infantry divisions then. Get myself up to that 20 combat width. I'm not sure if I need to be concerned about supply usage in the wastelands. Maybe that's an entirely big, uh, huge change in how this works. I'm not sure, but let's try for this. We'll try playing standard mode and see how well that works for us. That does mean our logistics has changed substantially. We need a lot more machetes. So that's important. Or alternatively, pipe guns. I mean, either one apparently counts as infantry equipment. No template for what? Scrap motorcycles? So what counts as motorized? Exactly. Huh. That does count as motorized. Okay, motorcycles do count as motorized. That's sort of what I expected, but I wanted to make sure. War support and stability goes up because we did not start an aggressive war. So that's going to help a little bit. We're going to do the capital. And then I think we are going to start working toward getting those free Cassus Belly. So I can continue to expand. There's so much that we need to do, and man, I don't know what's going to be good. Nova Roma. Moves capital to New Vegas? Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of fun. Crown a new Augustus. The Legion Civil War. Oh, no. SPQR, the Immortal Empire, New Thesis, Brotherhood of Mars, Pax Perbellum. The Vault Beneath Fortification Hill. Brotherhood Slaves? Ooh, power armor. Yes. I mean, there's some fun things. Like, if we went for uh, the Twin Mothers, then go for Goddess Diana. Yes, we lose base stability. But then we can go for the Twin Temples, which gives me 8% research time. Which is, like, really good. 
temples. I mean, we did, yeah, instead of just having Mars as our only god, we can start expanding to a proper pantheon and apparently does stuff for us, you know? Like, maybe that's good. Alright, the Viper's been annexed by somebody. Um... I have heard, by the way, that Heaven's Gate is a good starting location because it's not really surrounded. So as a, as a new nation, it's pretty good. Where's, like, Vault City? The cause. There's Vault City. So they're fighting the Cyclops, right? Yeah, they're fighting the Cyclops. Some people like Vault City a lot, too. I don't know, guys. I don't know. There's so much stuff that's cool here. I really feel like... I'm missing out by not knowing more about Fallout. I know everyone will agree. Alright? Everyone says that, yes, Fallout's amazing, you should play it. It is, by a long shot, the number one requested game on this channel. I just don't have the time. It's a bad excuse, though. Monthly population from Habitation. That could be really good. Potentially. Uh, this stuff's ahead of time. I'm not really worried about power or metal yet. I think I am going to go for organization. And I am going to go for tribal huts for the extra population because I feel like those are some good long-term investments and make me a lot stronger. Wouldn't you say? Uh, the Great Cons. No, they w still want to have a uh, non-aggression pact. Can't say that I blame them. Now, I could try justifying war goals, but I think it does take a long time still. 225 days. I believe one of the features of playing as the Kaiser... I think I read this somewhere. Is it here somewhere? I don't see it. I feel like I've read somewhere that if you um, play as the Kaiser and you're fighting in a major war against uh, a major power, in this case the New California Republic, you gain like an 80% uh, justify claim reduction on small nations, which is necessary if you want to be able to get to the NCR. At least that's the idea, I think. But I don't see any evidence of that somewhere, so maybe I'm just talking crap. I don't know. Can we please hire a new general? Oh, wait. We do actually have a new field marshal. Huh. Um. This is interesting. Field marshals, you want to have somebody. Let's go ahead and... Wait. What did I, what did I do? Okay, let's make sure everyone's under the same thing here. And then for our field marshal, we can actually assign some new traits. So Lucius, do you want to give you logistics for supply consumption? Actually, could be really good. Planning speed, max planning, offensive, defensive, reinforced, charismatic. Infantry expert is really good. Max entrenchment is really good. I think I'm going to give you logistics wizard. Just to make sure we don't have as much supply consumption. Um, do I want ambush or infantry expert? They're both pretty solid. In different ways. I'm trying to remember which one I end up liking better. Planning speed is good if you want to do fast wars. Thorough planner is good if you plan on entrenching for a long time. So you kind of want to do infantry expert and fast planner or thorough planner and ambusher. And then maybe Defensive Doctrine for even better entrenchment. And there's a lot of different options here. Um, only because I'm not sure how this works, I think I'm going to go for a more defensive focus, and we're going to go for the Ambusher and the Thorough Planner. So I'm going to take it a little bit slower. Just because I'm not sure how much I have to conserve. Like, we already lost a few thousand manpower, and that's precious. So we'll do that. I will assign... Urban, huh? I will assign a really good Field Marshal here. And we can give you a trait as well. Charismatic. Organization first. Max Entrenchment. Organization when moving. Yeah. This time I think I will go for the Offensive Doctrine with you. And that should carry over to all of my armies. And you, I'll just go ahead and assign anybody. Get a little bit of extra experience somewhere. Am I even worried about the Navajo Nation? Probably not. But it's a thing that we can do. Capital is about to be done. Good. All right. A few more workshops for me. Let's go for Alia Lacta Est. Get that extra political power going. It's not going to take long. Only seven days. And then we can start getting our fabrication on somebody else. The Washington Brotherhood. 
just took over the cause. Okay, so they're intellectual. They should have really good tech. Brotherhood of Steel and all that, you know? That was another nation that really would have been fun to start playing as, maybe. All right, Tucson. Yes, we're going to go for Tucson. That could lead to Taming the City, which gives us the Cult of Nas. Motorized Breakthrough, Spawn Motorized Units, or the Cult of Nas. And that gives me a lot of other National Spirit bonuses. Again, it's a Pantheon, or do you stick with the Cult of Mars? And I feel like that's kind of hard to say for sure. A lot of things here that I would like. Industrial Concern. I think I'm going to go for some Industrial Research Time. Just to make sure we can build that up really fast. At least that is the idea. And the NCR declares war on the Valley Bandits. Down here in the Baja Valley, which was sort of to be expected. So they're going to start being Imperialists now. All right, all right. So we finished our first war. We're going to move on into the next one. I'm going to try to consolidate this entire region. And then we want to start pushing west toward the NCR before they get too powerful and form a big faction. At least I think that's the idea. But we'll find out for sure. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.